Hey, it's Sergi, and welcome to the Safety Fellowship Podcast. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety. Welcome. Today's topic is going to be on cybersecurity and mainly on hackers types of hackers, latest technique in hacking, and the safety precaution in hacking. In recent technology advancements, computers have become critical for operating a successful business. Separate computers for different tasks is never enough. We must network computers to communicate with outside firms. Networking these computers make them vulnerable to hacking and the outside world. So what is hacking? Hacking is the gaining of unauthorized access to information, systems, or data. It is the pursuit of knowledge and understanding in the field of security. It is discovering vulnerabilities in a design or program and to achieve a goal. Hacking involves hackers. So who are hackers? Hackers are knowledgeable individuals in computer programming on how it operates. So it is easier for hackers to find vulnerabilities in systems and influence them to gain access to unauthorized information and procedures not meant to be accessed by the general public. So the common types of hacking system. These are one, phishing is the fraudulent practice of sending fake emails, pretending to be from genuine sources, to access or gain unauthorized information. Example of phishing is BEC, Business Email Compromise. Phishing, which is spelled P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, is mainly targeted towards big corporations. The number two most common types of hacking is vishing. Please know the difference between phishing start with P and vishing start with V. Vishing is the fraudulent practice of making phone calls pretending to be from genuine sources to access or gain unauthorized information. These can be targeted towards any person. For example, an individual can receive a call from a source claiming to be one of your, let's say you have a car and you receive a call saying uh, there is uh, the registration of your car has expired. You have to renew right away or you, you will be stopped and get tickets. This is called vision because a governmental agency will need a give you a phone call to remind you of your expired car registration. Another type of cybersecurity, common cybersecurity is malware. Malware is software designed to compromise a computer system or to gain access to unauthorized information. These are software being downloaded onto your device just to get your information. Another common cyber threat is on what we call social engineering. Social engineering is a technique used to persuade a, u- a user to provide personal information by imitating a reliable partner. For instance, a, a hack buyer and ask for sensitive information from their owner. We have a lot. However, I'm going to stop on this last one, cyber security threat type. It's called DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service. This involves bringing down a, web, a website or transferring the website address location order. Uh, so when we say uh, I can involve hackers, so we, we have three types of hackers. And hackers seeks out just to exploit flaws in computer system and network just to gain access. That's what they do. So the three types of hackers we have is the ethical, some, sometimes are called white hackers. 
these are cybersecurity experts will find and fix system discrepancies legally. They are hired either by a corporation, individual, or governmental agencies to assist securing the agency's system and online presence. These are cybersecurity experts, the white hackers, they can detect and address weak places to prevent ass assault from outside sources. White hackers are there like the least they follow the government norms and regulations. They are motivated to assist businesses or whoever the employer is to find network security flaws. And the second black hackers or the criminal hackers like I call them. The black the black art hackers are computer geniuses. However, they violate computer system and security to personal information. These hackers aim is to get steal data and to get unauthorized access to your information. And the third types of hackers are the gray art hackers. The gray art hackers sit in between the black and the white hackers. I call them the confused hackers. Their motive can either be good or bad. However, their main motive is monetary. They want ransom. They do it just to gain money. Hackers like activists. Yes, yeah, like activists. And then we have script kitties. But I'll stop on those three types of hackers. The ethical hackers, which are the white hat hackers. The criminal hackers, which are the black hat hackers. And the confused hackers, which are the gray hat hackers. So what are the safety precautions we could take again? Because hacking cases are inevitable in this 21st century. However, these following safety tips should keep us safe or safer for the long run. Avoid clicking on known ads and suspicious links. Because hackers frequently employ advertisements such as pop-up adverts. When it's clicked, it downloads malware or spyware onto your device. Strange links contained in email messages or in social media in particular should never be clicked because hackers can use this avenue to install malware on your device and it will redirect to your website. Number two safety precautions is regular software updates. Hackers are continually looking for security flaws that have yet to be discovered or addressed. As a result, keeping the software and operating system up to date is critical for keeping people and companies safe from hackers. I will advise you to always allow automatic filters and softwares because with these, it will install the most recent operating version of your device or devices. Number two safety precaution is implementing two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication will eliminate the need for a password. It will ensure that the person accessing the information or is who they say they have. Because example of a two-factor authentication could be fingerprinting or generating a code to access account or the information another safety precaution is on uh, our advice guys is on um, set up unique password for different accounts the most common data leaks and on cyber attacks are weak passwords and improper password management not only should you choose a um, strong password that are difficult to crack but you should never use the same password for multiple accounts to restrict the efficacy of hackers, use a unique password. Yes, I know uh, uh, having a strong password and uh, remembering it is very difficult. And for different accounts, yeah, to remember all those account passwords is very difficult. So we tend to use just one unique password for everything. No, 
this is deadly. So if we cannot remember all these passwords, so this next safety tip should help you use a password manager. Because creating strong, unique passwords is a security best practice, yes. But like I said, remembering them is very difficult. So we have what we call password managers. They are helpful tools that will help you to create secure and difficult to crack passwords without misplacing them. Like Apple do have it, Microsoft do have it as well, and Google do have it. I'm going to stop right here. I try to make a short episode every time. However, I hope you had a great experience with me. My name is Soji. Thank you. For safety talks, safety blogs, safety articles, safety learning and awareness, and all other safety subject matters, log on to safefellow.com. Come on, let's talk safety.